Hey everybody, welcome to Dev Tips, a place where we do website design and development. We talk about the creative lifestyle and just try to be as awesome as we can. If you're just joining this video now, you will see that this is video two. And the first part of this video is actually not on this channel. It's over on another channel called Programmer's Creed. And this channel is hosted by my friend Quentin, whom I've just met. He's really cool. And we're going to actually be talking to Quentin today about his channel, about the work that he's doing over there, and about his about him. So uh, let's say hello to Quentin. Okay, Quentin, so welcome to Dev Tips. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell us about you. Who are you and what do you do? Okay, well, uh, as you said, I'm, I'm from South Africa. So I'm actually 21 years old. I'm a student. And uh, right now I'm studying programming and IT, so web design, development, uh, PHP mostly. Um, so I'm trying to get through all of that. But I also have a YouTube channel called The Programmer's Creed, which uh, is where I teach other people how to uh, learn learn what I've learned. Awesome. Yeah, that's how I found you, uh, because it, in my sidebar on YouTube, it recommended your channel to me. And uh, yeah, yeah. So I was really pumped when I saw your content. It's really good stuff. How did you get into web programming? Well, kind of a long story, but... <laughs> That's okay. It's YouTube. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. So, so uh, basically, in school, I like I never had this approach to to learning uh, new things that I do now. And like I, I used to go to class and be like, oh well, if if I pass, it's okay. You know, I'm not worried about doing well. Um. So I, I ended up getting through school, but my marks weren't that great. Uh, so I couldn't get like any bursaries or anything to to university. And my mom was kind of just like, well, you never did great at school. You never even tried. So, you know, you don't need to go to university. What do you want to go to university for? Uh, so I had to get a job. Um, and my first job was actually in irrigation. So like completely the opposite end of the scale to, to what we're doing now. Yeah. Um, so... I, was, I, I used to go out in the fields and I mean, we had these machines that would like dig trenches and I'd put the pipes together and dig holes with a spade and uh, that kind of thing. Um, but like they made it sound really awesome. Like they made it sound like I was going to go on to be like a civil engineer or something, but I was just in, in the farmlands digging with a spade. And I kind of thought to myself, well, you know, this is what 12 years of high school got me. I'm in a hole with a spade. Uh, is, is there, like, I've got to do something better with my life. And at, at that point, I was like, well, now I really need to actually learn because, I, you know, I was an idiot in school and I never learned. Now is the time to learn. Like, it's not too late. Uh, so what I did was I ended up going out to uh, one of the local computer stores here and I bought a, a new computer. So it was a laptop actually my first computer I ever bought and I didn't have one at home previously. Really? So you've never, and, yeah. you'd never owned a computer before three years ago? Well, I did when I was really young, but, um, I landed up, it like landed up getting old and broken and right. I just never had a computer again. So from about 12 to 18, <laughs> I never really had a computer. Wow. That's interesting. <laughs> so then what happened was, uh, I look back to like what, what, what I enjoyed most in school. And I remember that was uh, doing uh, writing programs because I did IT and we did a language called Delphi. So I remember that was actually the most fun part of school that I can remember was actually just uh, coding in Delphi. Really? And so you I'm, had a programming course in, in high school? In high school, yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, when, when I hear about people who had that, I'm like, dang it, because <laughs> I mean, we didn't have that uh, in my school. I had a really not great school. Really? Yeah, my school okay. sucked. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, we've got uh, quite a few schools here, but um, there are only like three that offer the programming, um, or four actually, and it's uh, only about like 15 people in the whole school will do it. Oh, okay, cool. So it's yeah, like so a it's like a focused. Rare. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> so I was like, yeah, no, that was the most fun part of, of high school for me. 
so I went out and I was not, not just got a laptop, but I got an internet connection and I was like, yes, that was my first internet connection ever, by the way. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I was like, okay, I'm going to learn. And I started looking at some websites, trying to learn Python and, and things like that. And like, just out of coincidence, like I was, I was one day like kind of lazy and I didn't really know much about YouTube, but I thought to myself, well, what happens if I actually, I type in Python video or how to program Python, uh, in YouTube. And like, that's how I discovered that people do tutorials on YouTube. Uh, so that, that actually blew my mind because I never, I never knew about that kind of stuff uh, on YouTube before. Yeah. And, uh, so, so I actually landed up watching a lot of Python tutorials. I learned quite a bit of Python. And my next thing was like, okay, well, what do, where do I go from here? And, uh, I realized that web design actually, or web development, you've got so much freedom because I can sit and I can create something here on my computer, but I don't actually need to sell it to anyone or I don't need to, to do anything. I can just upload it to a server and bam, like people can use it kind of thing. Yeah. So, so that's where I was like, yes, okay, well. I'll, I'll do web design or web development. And, uh, that's when I learned HTML, CSS, PHP, that kind of thing. But I spent about two years, uh, learning that. And then I started putting up YouTube tutorials. How long ago did you start your channel? Well, I only started uploading videos in 2012. So really, uh, December, December of 2012. Yeah. Oh. But you, if you, if you check my channel, it will say that I joined on like, uh, July. Yeah. 2011 or something. Yeah, there's a big gap from when I signed up and when I started uploading too, for sure. Yeah, yeah there's a whole lot of like stress <laughs> involved and like, is this good enough? Yeah. Or... yeah. So, uh, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit before we get into your channel. I want to talk to you about uh, what is like the programming culture in South Africa like? There's a programming culture in South Africa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like that, yeah. that's what interests me so much about when, because I, I heard like, um, I knew I knew a few people when I used to live in England that that were from South Africa and very really cool distinctive accent. When I saw your video um, right away, I just like that guy's from South Africa, and I was like so like amazed by it. Um, I've never met another South African or I've never met a South African programmer, so that's why I contacted you. I just wanted to like learn your story. So it, it, there's not much for programming culture there, or what city are you in, by the way? Okay, I'm I'm in East London, which is quite a small city, and uh -huh. a lot of the people from the, the bigger places are like, East London's not a city. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it, it is actually classified as a city, but it's it's really small. Right. Um, we don't have anything interesting here. It's a boring place. <laughs> but uh, like when when there's there's not too many programmers here, and a lot of the guys that that I do know that I, I went to school with uh, that did programming in high school and that kind of thing all left uh, and went over to uh, Joburg or Cape Town, which are like the two main uh, cities here in, in yeah. South Africa, the uh -huh. two biggest ones. And um, I mean, for the most part, a lot of those guys prefer to work alone or like if they're working as a, as a team, like they'll get together, have a meeting uh, from, from what I've heard and like they'll just have a meeting, talk about what they want to do, go back to the desk and work alone. Like they don't, actually work as groups or anything like that. So there's not much room for like a bit of collaboration or anything with anyone. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So you've not worked with anybody else in the, in the area locally? No. Uh, that, that, <laughs> yeah. There is something to be said about that. Like I, I totally get that even though like I'm in Silicon Valley, which, you know, mm. in a lot of ways is, is like the Mecca, right. Of, of this type yeah. of technology we all sit in our bedrooms in, in the dark <laughs> and just kind of like <laughs> program. And then like in the morning we rub our eyes and we talk to each other a little bit and then we, and then we go back to our desks and be quiet. So what kind of work do you like best? You, you mentioned that you did some web design, web programming, and also some server side stuff with, with uh, Python and such. What, what is your, what's your favorite? Well, PHP is definitely my best at the moment. So that's kind of my, my favorite, but, um, You'll see a lot of people actually argue that Python is better. And uh, having done Python, I know that it's a, a little bit easier, but I haven't actually uh, worked with it as much as I have with PHP. So yeah, just 
I'm limited to what I can do with Python, so. Yeah, <laughs> I, I only know PHP as far as I can walk around like a WordPress installation. <laughs> That's um, as far. That's as and and Python nothing, nothing at all. But I work in a yeah. room full of engineers, and and I know that they prefer Python. So, let's let's jump to your YouTube channel now. You saw these other uh, people posting tutorials on YouTube. Um, what would make you think, yeah, I want to do that? Well, I was I was thinking like, I want, how hard could it be? You know. <laughs> And uh, the answer is, is kind of hard, <laughs> quite hard, quite difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll, at first I was thinking, like, how hard can it be? And um, I tried I tried uploading a few tutorials. Like, I really, uh, I really tried at the beginning, but I failed epically. Like, I used to stutter a lot and say, um, um. And yeah. I deleted most of those videos. Uh, but so how yeah. many, sorry, how many videos do you have now? What's your upload count? 111. Okay, so you've been practicing quite a bit. <laughs> 111 is a lot. So yeah, that, that was one of the things that I noticed also when it, the first video I saw, you're like, you're really smooth. It seemed it seemed like you were reading a, a book, like it seemed like you were reading a script, right? But yeah, so um, so you, 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 you got over the, uh, the jitters. Mm. Yeah, no, no, it, it, it took some work. Um, but eventually I started thinking, well, I wonder if I can get good at this. Uh, and like, that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm just trying to be better than, than I used to be before and be better than some of the other guys. Like I try yeah. to compete with them a little bit. Like, uh, I wonder if I'm better than this guy or not. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Has your work on YouTube impacted your work off of YouTube? Like, have you gotten referrals or work because somebody heard um, of you or something like that? Well, at first, like the company that I was working for, uh, like last year, they like they were kind of interested, but I could see that it wasn't going to go anywhere because it was going to be one of those things where they'd look at me and go, "Well, he's young. We're just going to exploit him." <laughs> so uh, I was like, uh, "No." <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So uh, what I decided to do rather was just keep going at YouTube myself and. Now I don't work. I just YouTube and I study full time, uh, which I never, I never had the chance to do. And that's actually, if you think about it, the whole reason why I started you or started learning how to program was to uh, do something with my life and and actually, you know, get out there uh, and do something meaningful rather than sit in, in a hole and like dig with a spade kind of thing. Yeah. So, so I I do think that. I'm starting like I'm not there yet, but I'm I'm working towards actually doing something more with my life than you know just working for someone. Uh, like I don't know. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just like work for someone. I actually I want to one day have done something that was meaningful to some someone. And and YouTube, in a sense, is helpful to uh, a lot of people with my tutorials. Uh, so there are people that might never have known HTML or CSS before yeah um, totally from my channel yeah totally so you mentioned earlier that you you didn't go to college but now you, but mm -hmm. you're saying you're doing studying did you eventually go back to university uh i'm studying through correspondence so basically i land up sitting behind my computer every day when i wake up in the morning come behind my computer um read some notes that the lecturers have left and other students kind of whatever uh like in a forum uh huh. And and uh, they give us projects to do, uh, and they give us reading that we have to do. So I've got books that I've bought, uh, and then I'm obviously read from that. Some of those books actually uh, I make tutorials on, or I use to make tutorials with. Right. Um. Yeah. And then, uh, from from there, like, so I'm making tutorials on the stuff that I'm learning about, and then I'm also learning as I'm going. Uh, in you through university like just trying to get my diploma um so what has been one of your most popular videos so far and and what made it so special i don't know see with the tutorials thing like uh you don't really get um viral videos per se so it's not like you've got this one video you put up and like billions of people watch it because yeah it went viral um but i noticed that 
like the, with the view patterns and the subscriber, when people subscribe to me, um, are always on the introductions of my videos. So with my series, I've got uh, tutorial one, the introduction, and those videos will, you know, gain views uh, by thousands. Uh, like I put a video up on my new HTML5 series about two weeks ago. Uh -huh. And that climbed up to about 2,000 views, almost 2,000 views uh, in two weeks kind of quickly. Right. Uh, compared to, uh, you know, like I'm a small channel, so <laughs> it's not, again, no viral videos. It's just the introduction videos, mostly like people, I guess, come and watch the introduction, they're like, and they subscribe and they're like, yes, I'm going to go through with this. But I think some people obviously like, leave the series later on so they watch like the first few videos and uh, as the videos go on there's less and less views yeah that actually makes a lot of sense like knowing human nature right <laughs> yeah yeah um okay so what plans do you have for the near future for your channel uh okay well right now i'm just trying to get my my php series up and I'm focusing on quality right now. So my, my previous HTML series, um, bad quality. Like you, you, I, I started shouting in the mic and things. Um, <laughs> like I shouting? Like, yes, got to be confident, got to be confident. And I, and I started shouting into the mic and like it landed up, the sound was just very bad. And I think my mic might have broken as well. But like it worked, but it just, there was um, like static and stuff. Yeah, so, that's really funny. That's I know. I noticed that you did redo it, the series. Yeah, so that's why I started redoing the series because I want to improve on quality. Um, so there's that, and then I want to obviously just get enough videos up so that some people can, well, like, go through, go to my channel and watch through all the videos and eventually have a website of their own, but not just like some static HTML website, but rather something with a little bit of server-side script that's kind of clever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... That's awesome. That's, that's, that's my, like my, my goal for the, the short-term future, and then after that, I haven't really thought that far, so... <laughs> yeah. Cool. So <laughs> how do you... Uh, sorry, how do you as, you know, as a person want to be known after all of this is said and done? That's, that's a tough question. <laughs> it's, a bi it's a big one, yeah. I mean, yeah. you never figure well, it out totally, but... Yeah. Well, I, I'm not too uh, phased about, like, being remembered or, or, like, being known as such. But uh, if, if people go, like, okay, Programmer's Creed really helped me out. Uh, I mean, even if there's one guy that's like, okay, I got a job because of Programmer's Creed, like, that, for me, would actually be, like, awesome it's just this guy was helpful yeah yeah that's that's a really that's a really good perspective i think really cool cool uh, is there anything else you want to plug or talk about <laughs> not really no. okay great so, that's good cool. yeah cool. thank you so much for coming on my channel and, and talking about the the work that you do and, and thank you for making the videos that you do for everybody who has seen those again guys that watch dev tips if you have not yet go check out Quentin's channel. It's called Programmer's Creed. Here's a link to it. And um, check out also the first video where Quentin talks to me about what I'm doing here at DevTips. And that link is right there. And then after you do that, subscribe to his channel. And I am excited to talk to you guys next week. Bye.